term sheet. What is that? Hey, taxpayers, it's Tiffany Gonzalez, CPA here, and we're back with another installment of What Is That?, where we discuss financial term and topics you may have heard, but we make them super easy to understand. Today, we're talking about the famous term sheet. If you've ever thought about investing in a company, selling your company, or becoming an angel investor, term sheet is something you'll want to know about. So tune in and let's get started right at the beginning. Term sheet. What is that? A term sheet is a non-binding agreement that sets the basic terms and conditions for an investment. It's typically a more succinct document that comes before a really long contract that has all of the nuances and details in it. Term sheets are often associated with startups as well as mergers and acquisitions. Entrepreneurs use these documents in order to attract venture capitalists. Basically, a super easy to read, simple document explaining the terms of investing in their company. The term sheet lays the groundwork for all parties to really understand what's required to be involved in a relationship with them. This allows for the reduction of any kind of misunderstanding or disputes that may arise later. Also, it helps avoid a ton of legal fees that could be incurred prematurely. Term sheet basically says, here's what to expect. And if we're ready to move forward, then we'll get the lawyers involved. Typically, the term sheet will have an initial purchase price, what assets are included in the purchase price, what is the time frame to consider making this investment in or the lockup period of your funds, and it might have other key pertinent information about the deal. A lot of times, the term sheet will also include in writing what's excluded from the deal, again, in an effort to make sure that all parties are aware of the transparency in the deal of what's not included. Now, while term sheets are typically non-binding, if an investor wants to move forward, some sort of deposit is typically required, and this is usually done in good faith in order to ensure that ultimately an agreement will be reached in the end with a binding contract or investment. Once all parties are in agreement, lawyers get involved, and now a binding contract can be created from the basis of that original term sheet. We hope you enjoyed this latest installment of What Is That? Hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook at Accounting to Scale. Until the next video, your favorite CPA, Tiffany Gonzalez. Yeah.